Hi, in this tutorial, I'll talk about how to set up auto trigger Jenkins job on code push. Means if you commit any code to a specific branch of a repository, so the Jenkins job associated with that repository should trigger itself without any manual trigger. So setting up a auto trigger job is a three step process. First, you have to integrate your Jenkins job with, with GitHub repository. This I have already explained in last tutorials. Please go back and check. In last tutorial, we'll see how you can integrate your private repository with Jenkins job using SSH keys. Once you have done means your integration is done and you are able to trigger that job manually, then you should update the trigger. You should update a specific trigger to trigger the job auto automatically. Then you have to create a webhook in GitHub. That webhook has a specific section in URL slash GitHub hyphen webhook after your Jenkins URL. So now let's have a working demo. So let me create a job here and job name should be geeks auto trigger. And it, it will be freestyle project, save it. And source code management would be git. So I'll use the same repository uh, which I used in last two tutorials. So this is my repository and because I have set up the integration using SSH. So I'll take a SSH URL of that Git repository, add it here and choose your credentials. So I have created this credentials, this SSH credential in last tutorial, please go back and check. So I choose this. So as soon as I choose those, see there's a no error. That means the authentication of GitHub and Jenkins is successful. I will be building the master branch. This branch should be there in your GitHub repository. Now in build trigger in earlier tutorials, I did not choose anything, but this time because you have to choose a specific trigger. So we'll choose this GitHub hook trigger for GIC SCM polling. So we are saying like this should be triggered by the hook. Now build environment nothing i just choose it because i don't want if anything is there already before build that that will be deleted and build step because it's a maven project so what i'll do i choose this and say the maven goal is clean install don't worry about what i'm doing here the intention is to understand how you set up a auto trigger build in post build action i chose nothing so just save it so we are done from our side. If you want to check, just check it once by build now. Say if everything is working fine. So my this job is successful so that my Jenkins is able to clone the repository and able to build it. Now we are done from the Jenkins side. Now we have to set a trigger at the GitHub side. So go to GitHub and go to the repository settings. You will find in left menu, you will find a section called webhooks. Go to the webhooks. Right now, I don't have any webhook, just add one. Here in payload URL, you have to add a payload URL. Payload URL is the, your Jenkins URL with, with a specific section. So this is my payload URL, my local host means my Jenkins URL along with this GitHub hyphen webhook. But here's a problem. My Jenkins is running on my local machine and this GitHub has a separate system. So my this github won't be able to send trigger to my local machine because my local machine is not known over internet so to work on local uh, we have to add a additional step whatever i tell you right now this is only and only for your local uh, machine on actual servers when you have either domain or ip you do not need to perform this action straight away you can add your jenkins url along with this section so so what I'll do, I'll create a virtual host for my local host. So what I'll do, I'll take help of a application. You can take any help from any application, whatever you know, the number of application available. But what I'll do, I'll take help of ng rock. I'm using it so it works fine for me. You can use any software as per need. So what it does, it create a virtual host means dummy host and from the dummy host, it create a tunnel to your local host. So instead of using local host, we'll use that specific URL. So what I'll do, you, this is the application you can install on your machine and use it. It's as per your need. Okay. So you can install it. So how it work, it, it create a tunnel to the application running on a specific port. 
So let's say my Jenkins is running on HTTP and port 8080. So if I want to create a tunnel to that app, uh, Jenkins. So what I'm saying here, I'm running an application on port 8080 on HTTP. So create a tunnel. If I do that, so if you see here, I have got a new URL. So this, this, I, now I can use this URL instead of my local host. So as soon as I hit this, a tunnel will be created to my this URL and I will be able to access the application running on port 8080 and my Jenkins is running on 8080. So let me open this. If I open now, say OK visit site. You see my Jenkins has been available now. So I have to log in again. So instead of using my local host, now I'll use URL and you will notice here it is HTTPS now. So I'll use this URL in my GitHub, go to the GitHub and replace this. Okay, replace this, it should be good. Along with the URL, just check the event on which event you want to trigger this. So what I'll say, I only need push event as of now because this is only for learning. So I check the only push and save it. So hook is done. If you refresh right now, if you see the dot here, if I refresh, you see a correct sign means that this integration is able to check means this GitHub is able to send a signal to my Jenkins. So now let me push something to my master branch. So what I'll do, I'll open this readme file and I'll add, let me add it straight away here. And I add few hash here. Done, just save it. You will notice here, see here, this is only a one build number one. So as soon as I commit here, just commit this back. As soon as I commit, there must be this job triggered. If you see here, see this has been triggered now. I did not trigger this manually, but this is triggered using the, the signal sent from GitHub to Jenkins. So you see this job has been triggered using webhook. This is a very common use case in your day-to-day -day activities. So I hope you understood. If you have any question, add your comment. Thank you.